I feel like the popular people at school, they peak in school. I come across like confident and sure of myself, but I'm quite an insecure person. I was a hot mess. <laughs> if you got with too many guys, you'd be a slut. When you're learning to love yourself, work out all the reasons why you don't. Rock with me, all oh my girls, all oh my girls with me. Uh -huh. Hi, I'm Grace Victory and welcome to The Wilds Retreat, inspired by Prime Video's new series, The Wilds, a show about young women stranded on a desert island. So today I've got two incredible women here, Nina Nesbitt, singer-songwriter, and Olivia Grace, podcast host of Growing Up and Sometimes Down. Today, ladies, we're discussing <laughs> all the things that young women go through. The first thing being finding who you are and like having a sense of self. Cause I'm 30 and I still feel like I'm figuring it out. I'm nowhere near there. Yeah, I'm on okay. the journey. I'm only 19. <gasps> I feel <What>? old. <laughs> I feel old. <laughs> I feel like this yeah. year we've had more time to like figure things out. Yeah, yeah I feel like that's, been more difficult almost so mm -hmm. for me anyway like having that time sitting in my room and being like who actually am I <laughs> yeah. and like, I'm only 19. what am I doing what is, what is my plan and I think I've realized I don't need to have a life plan I don't need to know who I am straight away and like as you grow up obviously mm -hmm. you're going to change your environment yep. changes the people you're with change so I don't think you're ever going to stay that one person yeah, like, I'm caught with who I am. I've got my like style. I'm this person, and then suddenly I'm like, I hate that now. Yeah, yeah. You do you evolve all of the time? Have you guys ever felt pressured to like fit in? Definitely. When I was at when I was in high school, like I was always trying to mm. fit in or like hang with the popular people, like, kiss boys, <laughs> and it's weird because now I think not fitting in is really cool. But at the time, you feel so insecure. I think. I wasn't the cool person that went to loads of parties. I had like three friends and would go and like sit in the dance studio with a dance teacher and like eat lunch with her. That you know, my life. but I think like as I've grown up, I've kind of come into myself and I realized that like being the popular person partying and drinking, like I didn't drink until I was 18. I thought like, oh my God, I'm missing out so much. And then now I'm like, I feel like the popular people at school, they peak in school. Yeah. <laughs> and then the ones that aren't really popular peak later on in life. I would agree. I feel like you have character when like you're not the popular person. Yeah. Because you yeah. can't just go by like looks or... And I yeah, think it's so hard to like fully put yourself out there in school because people are so judgmental. Like I always wanted to be a musician and I remember when I started my YouTube channel and people were like, who do you think you are? Like I you can't that. sing. And it made me want to stop doing it. And it now was, I'm so yeah, glad it's I didn't, horrible. but. People mm. would sing this song about how I bought subscribers. I was oh like, I only have like 500 subscribers. If I was going to buy them, I'd buy more than Yeah, 500. buy 500,000. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. People used to be so mean about my YouTube, but I was like, I'm going to prove them wrong. And now yeah. we have guys, okay? <laughs> Stuff with Amazon Prime, all right? Um, <laughs> do you ever have pressure to like lose your virginity, have sex? I definitely did as a teenager. Everyone matures at different points, right? Yeah. We don't all wake up one day and go, now we are yeah. all well, going to have got sex. Boobs. Yeah. yeah, and you know, when I started high school, for example, everyone was wearing full face makeup. Even that, mm -hmm. I was like, oh. and then you hear of people doing things with behind their back. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, and you're like, oh, should I be doing that? And then you feel like a loser. So, yeah, which is so wrong. But um, okay, at 19, I was a hot mess. <laughs> I am under, <laughs> underneath. Yeah, it's difficult. I've been with my boyfriend for like four years. So we grew up together and he was my first kiss. Cause obviously yeah. I didn't go to oh, parties, so, so I didn't kiss people. Yeah. Like he was my first everything. So I didn't really feel pressure. Yeah. I think I was the opposite. I was like, I want rose petals. <laughs> like a Romance. movie. And then you realize when you actually start having sex, it's nothing like the movie. The first time is seen as this weird sacred thing for women. You must be pure and you mm -hmm. mustn't have sex until you find the right person. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't think it's really yeah. that big of a deal. There's this weird like slut shaming. I think you had to be sexual, but then you couldn't be too sexual because then mm. you were a slut. If you got with too many guys, Within yeah. a month, you'd be a slut. But now, oh. you think of the guys, like how many girls they were getting with. Yeah. Do you want to hug your younger self and be like, it's okay? <laughs> it's okay. 
Have you ever felt left out or excluded from like a social group? I definitely have. I feel like in year nine, everyone just became really mean. Being an only child, <laughs> I've always liked being alone. So yeah. Yes, in school, I've been left out and I think everyone really has. Like you mm. fall out with a group of girls. Yeah. At the time, you feel like you're completely alone, you. don't you? Yeah. yeah. In um, college, I excluded myself more than other people excluding me. I think like I'm a, I come across like confident and sure of myself, but I'm quite an insecure person. And I was like so afraid of approaching people and people not wanting yeah. me that instead of like facing that possible rejection, I was like, I'm just going to sit in the corner of the library. I didn't even do work. I watched movies, but like I pretend <laughs> I was, I yeah. pretend I was working so that no one came over to me yeah. and then I was so lonely like that's the one thing I recommend to everyone like never exclude yourself on purpose so I was fear of rejection yeah I think a lot of it's worrying what people think which is so useless it's like you're never ever going to know what other people think so yeah why are you even bothering <laughs> do you feel like you are your real selves on Instagram and online I struggle with my mental health a lot and I've talked a lot about that openly and I'm very lucky that I've had people kind of welcome me with open arms when I open up and I think a lot of my audience and my age kind of like to know that other people are struggling too. I definitely hold stuff back that I don't mm. want to share with the world. I think you don't need Which to I share think, everything. Yeah, yeah, I think it's normal. I think you do have to have healthy boundaries. Yeah. It is through a lens, you've got mm. filters on. Like. And you pick and choose when you yes. film. Yeah. Like, although I would talk about like, I've had a bad mental health day, I'm not going to film me like sobbing Having or something. Having a break no. Okay. What advice would you guys give to someone that's struggling to fit in or to feel good enough? Or what would you give to your younger self? Stop caring. Mm. Stop caring. Yes. Because no one cares as much as you do. Yes. You. If we're yeah. honest, <laughs> we're all very self-absorbed. Yeah. And we're too, yeah, we're too concerned our with own our world. own. Yeah. You go to school and you learn all of these things that you never use, like yeah. fractions. Who uses fractions, okay? Not me. But no one teaches you like how to do your taxes. Yeah. yeah. Or about self-love or yeah. self-care. Is it PSHCE where you like learn life skills? Yeah. I never learned anything in that. I think we like put a condom on a banana once. Yeah. That was our, that <laughs> yeah. was sex education. And I was yeah. like, right. Yeah. And they never mentioned female pleasure, do they? Never. No. At school. Yeah. Which is so wild to me. Mm. So what do you guys do on your down days? I feel like mm. I have this mastered, to be honest. I <laughs> love that. <laughs> I think firstly, I make sure that like, I've got a therapy appointment like booked in. My family is really good at listening and talking. And if I want advice, I'll ask for advice. But sometimes you don't need it. You just want to cry or yeah, feel sad talk, or be annoyed. Yeah. Communicating to the people around you, like I'm having a bad day. This is what I need. Yeah. What are you need now? I usually fill up my diary. Yeah, I'm quite toxic. <laughs> <laughs> you avoid your feelings. Like if I'm going on stage, I don't have time to have a breakdown. Like do I need you to journal? Just... Yeah, I do. Well, I write, I write songs. So. Yeah, you can't afford therapy and you haven't got access to kind of mental health support. I think journaling and like expressing your emotions can really, really help. Okay, so we have some fan questions. How do you deal with imposter syndrome? I come from like a tiny village in the middle of nowhere don't come from money, don't come from a family in the music business. I honestly find it like an absolute, I just don't even know how I'm here. How... Because you are Nina Nesbitt. But like, it just That's doesn't... why. And then I go, oh no, but what if everyone finds out? But then I'm like, what are they finding out? I don't know. <laughs> I yeah. go from like being really confident to like really confused. Mm -hmm. and we've all got yeah. this inner critic, haven't we? Yeah. And I think it's really important that we are aware of that voice and we challenge that voice. Mm -hmm. So like if you get these voice come through, oh, you're so ugly. I replace that with like, oh, you're so amazing. And then eventually you'll hear the kind voice more than the critical voice. Mm -hmm. How do you start loving yourself? For a while I was looking in my mirror and, and I was like, oh, I look disgusting. Like, I hate what I see, all of this. And I was like, oh my God, like, I would never say that to one of my friends. Yeah. Yeah. Never. So I literally, it was so cringe when I was doing it, but it made me feel good. I looked in the mirror, I was like, I'm beautiful, <laughs> yes. I'm worthy, yes. I love this about me and this and this. But it's not just about how I look, also yeah. Yeah, I'm a nice yeah. person. And it actually felt good. I haven't done yeah. it since, yeah. but in the moment it's it was good for that. your soul. Mm -hmm. When you're learning to love yourself, work out all the reasons why you don't.
Mm. And then that just opens up everything. I think when you explore who told you you wasn't good enough, then you can unlearn it. And another massive thing is going on Instagram and unfollowing everyone who looks the same. Follow people who look different to you, plus size, black, Asian, less abled, because you can get lost Mm. in following like a thin, white, tanned influencer in the Maldives. Thank you for watching this episode of The Wilds Retreat. Don't forget to stream The Wilds to see young women versus the wilderness.